Also, rest in peace, Betty White, someone who probably could have drank less. I'm just kidding. Was she drink? Was she a drinker? I doubt it. She was probably she probably just drank water, maybe some tea with some honey. I, I hear she was a couple of days out from being a hundred. She was almost there. She almost made it. Weak, weak willed, dude. Come on. Yeah, like why? Why are you gonna stop at ninety nine percent? Come on. You know, it's like, like, like follow through. To quote, to quote Kobe, job's not finished. <laughs> job finished? Your job wasn't finished, Betty White. Kobe would be disgusted, dude. He's going he's gonna to go up there and his, and obviously Betty White's going to be in basketball heaven. There's different heavens. And Betty White, I don't know how, but she, cause I think she balled in like college or something. She's in basketball heaven. Yeah. Comes up there. Kobe's like going to backslap. Be like, what are you doing, dude? Come on. You can't be on my team. Do you think she was just a vicious racist? And then when she turned 60, like things started changing? society like, hey, dude, what's going on here what's going on here these other colors like they're not that bad pictures of betty white when she was like a young person it's different it's weird you just look completely different she's older than disney <laughs> <laughs> well, she was older than disney that's a really good your mom joke your mom's so old she's older than disney she's literally older than mickey fucking mouse you just you literally look like a different human when you're young and when you're old. Yeah, I wonder how I'm gonna look. Probably just bitter. <laughs> I just you're, round. You're gonna look bitter as a description. Yeah, it's gonna Man, be bitter. She weird. People just looked weird when she was young. She looked like she was on a. <laughs> this is a New York Post thing that says fans convinced Betty White's death is a hoax. Fake, dude. Fake news. I wonder if she was a metaverse fan. <laughs> she's been trying to tap into the longevity community and uh, yeah. really try to ride out this this oldness as a sickness thing she's really over it over it you think you're like pissed a little bit if you didn't make 100 and you're like maybe you, you know a little bit you're about to die in, in Betty White and you're like dang dude lame yeah or like she wasn't even sick or anything she just died no uh. You know? No, I mean, I guess that, that's still oldness is a sickness, eh? Apparently, she hadn't left the house since COVID started, so probably didn't have that. Uh, maybe, you know, she was just stressing about being 100 and her wrinkles. Maybe her, her looks, heart was just like, I'm done. Wrinkle with. She was like so old when she was at her prime on television. So I, it's a lot I, of life. The only, the only Betty White I know is old. Fucking, uh, what was it? The Golden Years or the Golden Girls? Was that what she was on? I think so. I saw a picture the other day. There's a rare condition. This day and age. Is that the Golden Girls song? No, that's something uh, that family something. matters. Oh, shit. The newspaper <laughs> page. Let me see if I remember the Golden Girls song. Did you watch the Golden Girls? Nah, but Family Guy used to do a lot of parodies of old shows. Because Seth MacFarlane was that kind of guy. And so I just knew a bunch of songs to shows I never watched. What day did she die? Yesterday. There's a, a People exclusive article on December 28th. And, and yesterday was December 31st, 2021. People put out an article December 28th, 2021 at 8 a.m. Entitled, Betty White Reveals Her Secrets to a Happy Life at 100. Quote, I'm so lucky to be in such good health. Damn. Did she really say that, though? And at, at the top, it says in italics... Betty White has sadly died since the publication of this article. Her rep confirmed to People on December 31st, the beloved actress who was participated in this inf interview with People just a few weeks before her death was 99. Oh, and you know what the first line of this article is? What? Betty White is gearing up to celebrate her centennial birthday on January 17th. Jesus. Follow through, Betty. What, what do you will? do when you're 100? Like, Probably wish you were dead. Probably just like so wish that your body I, wasn't in pain. I, I was I was watching and I like to read the longevity stuff of like science trying to like cure aging. Watch mm -hmm. a documentary. Would you how how what's the, what's your prime age you want to live to? Like, if you could live a long long, live long time, would you want to live a long long time? No sickness. I feel great all the time. Sure. Uh, maybe. You want to see multiple generations? Warren Buffett's like 91. Yeah. And Charlie Munger, his pal, is like 98. And I remember he said something like, 
oh, like I'm I'm the king, I'm the king of compounding or something. And he was like mm. kind of bragging. I'm like, dude, you're 97. Like, what are you gonna do with all this money? Like, who cares? Do you think so I'm you're gonna like, be bored at at a certain age? I wanna be young enough to like be able to like enjoy stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna be bored for sure. Maybe like late 80s. But it will probably be by the time a handful of decades from now that 100 is going to be lower than the life expectancy in the future. That could be true. It could be People like right now that are 20 will probably live longer than 100. Probably. You think like it's just going to be so crazy like people will easily live to 200? I mean, that might be 80 it. years ago people lived to like 60 or something. It's uh you know, yeah, the, the, graph, ago. the graph says up. Everyone was living to like 30. That's why people were having kids at 12. It means people are going to need more money, more food, more water, more, more shelter. Space to live. Yeah, we got to get to Mars. <laughs>